Zero FXB, welcome to my channel. Here we are with the new Quan Sheng UV5R. So we know that Bofang have brought out this device, which is the 18, the UV18, and everyone's talking about the you know the new UVK5, also known as the UVK6. And I really like these devices. The downside is that they haven't really got proper AM. Maybe the new models will have, where this one has got the 18H has got proper AM, nice big screen, and quite chunky, look, quite chunky. So, you know, quite a, a big chunky device. But this video is about the unboxing of the new Kuangsheng UV5R, and what you'll find that they've done, they've borrowed from the sort of design of the, of the Bofungs, I haven't got a black one here, with the orange and the blue, and you'll see in a minute, much smaller screen on this one. This is a UV9, I think it's a T9 model. Works great, yeah, very happy with it. Anyway, let's have a look at this new model. So it's, you know, it's badged up as the Quanshang, not the, you know, the Bofang. So let's just do one at a time, two-way radio. Now the disappointing thing I'm being told about this device is that it does not include uh, USB-C charging. Even though it's a very similar device to the K5, K6, it doesn't include USB charging. But it does include a super large battery, and I can tell that straight away because it's heavy. And oh wow, look at that battery. So we are getting a super battery. Let's look where the USB-C charging would have been. That's there, and if I open the other one, so there you go, USB-C in the K6. So I think that's a bit of a strange choice. I, I just think radios at the moment, people expect them to have, you know, to have USB-C charging. So we just look here at these, the Bofang, and this is the Quanchon. See the way they've done the blue button, the orange, they and the design and style is very similar to a Bofang. So I see where, where they've they've done that, but otherwise, the style of the actual device. I'm just trying to see if it's a bigger radio or if it's the same size radio without the battery. So there's the UVK5. We'll turn it on as well. It's a blue, it is a blue screen, which is very nice. I like the blue screen. I prefer the yellow, but anyway, let's just go side by side. You know, are they the same? Dimensions, very hard to say actually. Let's turn it around the other way. It looks, to me it looks like the case, apart from design differences and the battery, is the same. Let's turn the whole thing around. I think it's the same. And then you've got your speaker, headphone jack there. you got, now that is a fatter or a larger tab going up to the volume Very basic, but, um, you know, let's uh let's just type in a volume here and see what it sounds like now it's gonna it's gonna pick up even though there's no antenna it's gonna pick up my node because my node's so close so that's the bow phone uh handheld uh uh so I think it's the same I speaker. Nice to me, it's the same but speaker. Yeah, uh, so let's just see what's in the box as well, because I'm sure it's going to have a charger because there's no USB charging. So yeah, nice chunky belt clip. Antenna is different than the UV5R one. I'll show you, sorry, the K5 one. That's your, your K5 one there. I get good focus on this. K5, UV5, similar, very similar. And then charging cradle. Goes like so. I mean, it's a nice looking radio. But, you know, the price was higher than a normal Bofung. And as far as I can see, it's basically the UVK5 that's been made to look like a Bofung. But the key one here is going to yeah, be... I'm, I'm 
guy, um, an amateur for ten pounds, and it's and I've had it ever since uh, Scott. So if you're on low power, uh, never have to use high power. The key on. thing is now AM really. I know that band wise, let's go through the bands. So on the Bofa, we go F then number one. It, this works on both devices. So we're on the Bofa now, or the the Kushang UV5R. Okay, so we're going to go F band, F band. You see that 55 megs, F band. 100A, F band. Two meters, F band. F, why is it not letting me go anymore? There you are. F band. Two, four, five. On the F's on this side, I keep looking on the other side. F, 350. So yeah, it is covering, I would say the same sort of bands. Can't see 850. Now remember on the UV5R, if you hold, turn it off, on the U, sorry, the UVK5, and hold down, is it that one? No, uh, maybe it's both, let's turn it off. I know if you do that for, for firmware on the other one, it's hold it down, turn it on, yeah, that's the same. So, and then I probably have to hold both of these and turn it on. Uh, oh, well, experiment with that, because it's about enabling other bands. So let's just quickly look at the menu. Yeah, the menus are the same as the K5. It's basically a K5 in a housing that looks like a Bofin case, but they've got rid of the USB-C charging and given you a, a better, bigger, heavier battery. Um, Functionality-wise, it's the same. So you go function, you can go BFO mode, function, memory, Function A and B band. Let's look at function A B. It's dual, dual watch. Function A B arrow arrow goes up and down. We've seen bands and there are other things there. And radio, we go F F M like so. We've got the radio. Like so. Push the key. Holding on to that. Yeah, that works fine. So at the moment, I'm sorry to say, but I have to say, so far, I don't see the point of spending £40, £35, to get the same radio. It's nice having the bigger battery. They should have built into it USB-C charging into the larger battery. But I'm now going to just test the AM. So that's the Bofung. Or should I say the UV, the Quashung UV5R. And now let's listen to the, the one on the right hand side, the Quashing UVK5. Now we'll listen to the Quashang UV5R again. We'll do the UVK5 again. So I, I do think that the Quashang UV5R, the AM did sound clearer. Both not great, but the antennas are just the rubber ducks. So I, I, I do think the, the, the one on the left is probably a bit better on AM. Overall though, I, I don't know, I mean it all depends on the price and the fact that there's no USB-C charging is a big problem. Um, I'll let you guys decide, but otherwise they're both very good quality for, for what they cost. They've got the usual torches, LEDs, you know, ETC, nice keypad. So you're not, you're not gonna, you're gonna have great fun with a radio like this. Nice big chunky belt clip as well. So 7.3, thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now. Please remember to like and subscribe. All the best.